Alley, get some water. This is the little hellions. Right now they're behaving because they're getting water. But y'all already know. Y'all already know. Okay, that's enough. Your stomach about to pop. That's enough. Y'all already know. I bring them outside now because, um, finish eating. <laughs> I bring them outside. So that's Callie. Hey, Callie girl. Are you going to look at the camera? She, you not ready for your debut? Okay. Well, there you go. They, hey, Callie. Stop it. That's Shango. The little black and white one. And then that's Smokey. Hey, Smokey Bear. Hey, Smokey Bear. Um, I bring them outside to feed them right now, guys, because it's just easier with trying to feed them. And um, I started trying to feed them in their crate. They were just wasting it, shitting in it, peeing in it. By the time I gave them 10, 15 minutes to try to eat, it was a mess, and it just was not working. Um, and then every time I let them loose to take them out the potty, I would have to uh, <laughs> put Smokey's bowl and food up because they would immediately run to it. And I went through that when Smokey was a puppy when I had Blue and he was older, right? You know, different foods, puppy food and, and big boy food. And so it just became easier to, I asked the vet, like, okay, if I mix it together, is that going to hurt them? No, as long as they eat. So I mixed the puppy food and the big boy food together and I just put it all in one big tray and I let them eat to their little heart's content. And then we stand out here for about 30, 40 minutes and they get to run around and pee. Get some water. They get to run around and pee. And um, act like hellions, chew on some shit, chase each other, terrorize each other. Smokey gets the chance to get out of his little cone chain for a little bit and be free before we go back inside. And, you know, this gives them opportunity to, <laughs> to potty and hopefully pee a lot of it out. Um, and they all eat together. No more water, Callie. You've had enough. They all eat together. Like I said, I just feel his little um, food thing up all the way and they all eat together and there they go <laughs> um and what that does is it also is teaching me um teaching them i'm sorry that you know they can eat together they're not they're not guarding their food um they're not scared they're not going to get any more they can share they don't fight each other they don't growl they don't do any of that so um it's working so as they get bigger you know, I'll try feeding them in their crate again if it's necessary. Get down. Shango. You got to stay on top of them every minute. Let me turn the floodlight back on. Got to move over here. There we go. Um, but, you know, as they get older, I may try to feed them in their crate again. I've always just let my dogs free feed, you know, throughout the day. So I doubt I'll go back to it. But I may try it again if necessary. What are y'all doing? Get back over here get over here gotta use that mama voice um <laughs> you all right <laughs> no jumping um but like i said i let them free feed throughout the day and that has always been successful as my dogs got older i've only ever had two dogs at a time so this is a new adventure for me and for them to have three dogs at a time <laughs> um, I ain't gonna show you where Smokey just went because that's the potty spot. Y'all need to see all that. Yes, I have a designated potty spot. We do not do pooping and peeing all through the yard because I'm not trying to walk through my yard like it's a landmine full of shit. And we trying to no, we're not doing that. So we have a designated potty spot that um, I start training them on immediately. Come here, Shango. Come here, Callie. Hey, Callie girl. No jumping. No jumping. <laughs> no jumping. Say hey. Say hey. Hey, baby girl. Hey. Hey, Sean. Hey, um, Smokey. And I'm, I am so tickled because I remind myself of my grandmother. Hey, sh hey, how you doing? Hey, girl. Go play. I remind myself of my grandmother. She used to be like, come in here. And she would call everybody name but yours and be looking you dead in your face. And she'd be like, you know I'm talking to you. Get over here. And so I find <laughs> I've always done that with my dogs. Like, damn it, what is your name? You know who the hell I'm calling. Get over here. Um, and so... <laughs> This is my life right now, y'all. I feel like I was bamboozled. They were so cute and adorable. And I knew it was going to be work having two puppies and, a, you know, a dog. I knew it was going to be work. But I feel like I was bamboozled. Come this way. Come this way. Good boy, Smokey. Shango. Callie. Um, but this, y'all, 
I thought I was gonna potentially have to rehome Shango. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Because, you know, he's a lot. He's a handful. He is very um, stubborn. Hey, baby. Hey, Smokey Bear. Hey, Smokey Bear. You just want to be on camera. Say, hey, peoples. Say, hey. Um, he's very dominant. He's very, uh, can't even think of the word because it's so early in the morning. But uh, <laughs> I'm trying to get them on camera. They're over here fighting again. Stop. Go play or go eat. Move. Move. Go play. Ah. Um, so I thought I was going to have to rehome him, long story short. But he's starting to settle down into his role and now I'm concerned that I may have to rehome um, Callie at some point. And I, I truly want to keep her because I wanted a girl and a boy just to do something different because I've always had two boys. Um, but she is a little bit more needy than I may have the ability to handle. Um, what are y'all doing? Um, she's a little bit more needy than I may have the ability to handle. Come here. Come on. And so I'm just trying to be mindful of that. Uh, just trying to be mindful of that as I continue to, you know, try to take care of them. Doing my best to try to keep them together. Hey, Smokey. He wants to be on camera again, y'all. Hey, Smokey Bill. Hey, baby. Um, but again, it's a lot of work because they're constantly fighting. I'm constantly having to break them up, like 24 seven stop. And most time they're just playing and I let them play. It's fine for them to play. But um, they do get a little serious sometimes, and I have to I have to check it and make sure I'm not letting it turn into aggression. Sorry, the camera's so dark. Um, there we go. And, you know, just, like I said, emotional capacity. This is something I talk about in spirituality all the time with my students and with clients. You got to know the emotional capacity, the mental capacity, the physical capacity, the energetic capacity that you have to do a thing, right? And so I have to constantly check in with myself and see, do I have the capacity, the energetic capacity and all the things, the emotional capacity to take care of two growing puppies. Come here, Smokey. I'm trying to get him to come this way so he'll turn that light on. Come here. Come on, walk past the little thing. Dog. Okay, there it is. Um, you know, because who, y'all, send help. It's a lot. Even with help. Now, I, I've got some great friends. I ain't gonna even lie. I got some great people in my life. I got great people in my circle. Even with help, it's a lot having to take care of two puppies at one time. Um, this is why I never officially went into rescue. It was always just, you know, if we find a little dog that needs help. Hey. Um, and, the, and the puppies always came to me at the time that I needed them um, in my life, you know, or when my dog needed them. So we got Smokey when Blue needed another dog because he was by himself because somebody had stolen Justin. And we had rescued Blue when he was four. Um, and then, you know, these babies came because Blue just passed uh, in July. And so these babies came, like, I think six weeks after he passed. And I said a prayer because I knew Smokey needed a dog. You know what I'm saying? And I knew that he's not a dog that can be by himself. So, anyway... Um, that's a little bit more of the story of the pup pups, well, the Hellions, a.k.a. the Minions and Smokey. I know um, a few people have been asking me to talk more about it. And I've had a couple friends like, you know what? I thought I wanted a puppy. Never mind. <laughs> I literally have had two friends that helped me take care of them. That was like, never mind. I thought I wanted another dog. I don't, I don't want it. I changed my mind. It's a lot of work, y'all, because they're constantly fighting. I don't know if y'all can see that, but they are constantly fighting. So, uh, again, having to keep an eye on them. They're de he's a, more of a daredevil than she is. So, having to keep an eye on that, making sure he's not breaking nothing. Hey! You know, and hurting himself, keeping him alive, all of that stuff. No! Come here. Good girl. Good girl. Come here, Shango. Um, so, anyway, that's more of my story um, of where... of why I have now two puppies instead of just Smokey and Blue, my regular two doggies that y'all have heard me talk about and share pictures for years. Okay, bye.